We're here at Tennessee Tech University for the 2017 Human Powered Vehicle Challenge at ASME's eFest East. These three day, two night global festivals bring together engineering, robotics, live music, industry leaders, workshops and student challenges for one unforgettable experience where you can truly party like an engineer. Now in this challenge, 33 teams from the US and beyond will pit their vehicles against each other through a series of events. All teams involved had to design and build efficient, highly engineered vehicles for everyday use, from commuting to work to carrying goods to market. So here's what we've got in store. We're making use of the university's entire campus by setting out a series of tests, including a speed event and an endurance challenge that goes all the way around the campus with obstacles. So these teams have to be ready for a variety of scenarios. But before any teams can take part in the races, they must present their vehicle to the judges and pass a safety check. Then the real fun begins. So these vehicles are designed by engineering students. They're also built by engineering students. So we have to make sure that what they build is actually safe to run in the competition. So they have to go through a series of challenges. First, they have to have a visual inspection done by one of our safety judges. They have to be able to ride in a straight line. That sounds easy, it's not always easy. And then they have to be able to get up to a certain speed, 25 kilometers per hour, and stop within a prescribed distance. That's your brake test. And they have to be able to turn within the minimum turning radius. We really try to put these vehicles through the paces because we want to make sure that the riders are safe before we let them out in any of the race events. Our vehicle's name is Rose Pedal and we're from Rose Holman Institute of Technology. This team is relatively new and we don't have any experience building tricycles. The judges were impressed that we actually followed the rules for our PS testing and I think they were very impressed with our tilting mechanism that we can actually use to stabilize ourselves. It's a lot of fun to ride. Alright, uh, so we're the Black Pearl. Uh, so just picture you take the rowing machine out of a gym, take the giant fan off the end, put wheels on it, and go down the road. <laughs> Which is an interesting design, so. We are the Blackjack. Uh, we ran into some issues during the fall of almost crashing into people, so when you hit 20 miles per hour, uh, it'll turn on an air raid siren that's on the side of it and warn people that you're coming up upon them. So tonight we have some minor changes. We, we're going to try and install a windshield on our hatch because we don't actually have one yet, we just have a hole and we're going to see if we can get more people riding so we have more practice. Uh, we feel really confident and we are excited for the rest of the weekend. Get out on the track and go. The speed event begins in our next episode. Visit efest.asme.org and follow us on social media.